Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be top 5 best Queen Walk armies for Town Hall 9. The armies that I will be showing you are mostly ground. I have one air attack if you are a fan of air attacks. And every single attack strategy obviously has the Queen Walk involved with the attack strategy. And I'll also mention before we start each of the attack strategies which type of attack strategy it is, whether it's farming or trophy pushing. And yeah, how about we get into the first attack? The first attack strategy I will be showing you is the GWE, which is Giants and Wizards, with a Queen Walk, obviously. Uh, this attack strategy is used for farming, but you can push it in the early leagues if you want to uh, use a farming army to get a little bit more loot in case you're upgrading some heroes or a little bit of walls as well. So at the start of the attack here, we're going to drop the Queen Walk at the bottom of the base here to take out the enemy queen, dropping a balloon, and then dropping... The healers would use the balloon to see if there are any uh, seeking air mines outside the base and there wasn't for this attack. So the healers are fine to just walk through the rest of the base here, uh, or at least going into the first two compartments. Uh, we have the arch tower and cannon getting uh, targeted for the arch queen there. We have the air sweeper pushing back the healers. So we have kind of a bad spot to put the queen walk since the healers are getting pushed back. But we did that so we can take out the enemy queen. We have a baby dragon, we'll put it on the right side to create a funnel to make the queen go inside the base. She attacks the air sweepers to take them down, which is good. Air sweepers pushing to back the baby dragon as well. We have the, uh, the rest of the army that we'll put down on the left side, the giants and wizards. With the king and the clan castle, which is the last of the troops that we'll put down. We start off with the giants, spraying them out as far as we could. And dropping the wizards behind them, spraying those out as well. And we would have had some wall breakers, but I decided to use them to, for the queen to go into the base. But the wall breakers didn't work out, so we didn't have to uh, had to use our jump spell for the attack there. We have the uh, giants going into the base, and we also have the wizards coming in right behind with the yeti and the bowler as well. We have one more rage spell to put it up at the top there. We put it down there, and we uh, take out the rest of the defenses at the top of the base here. Giants going over to the right side here. We have the queen still at the bottom, taking out that wizard tower, and we'll take out the town hall with the king and that wizard, getting the two star rest 73%, and gonna get the easy three star against this base, getting a ton of loot as well. We have the yeti and bowler still up with full health, and we also have the queen with her ability up as well. We also saved a poison spell. Uh, I used to bring, I always bring a poison spell for the clan castle, but the farming raids don't really have the clan castle, so uh, we don't really have to use those that often but uh, we get three star with a ton of loot 680,000 gold for that attack very good attack let's head on to the next one hey guys before we go on to the next attack strategy I just want to mention I did actually start a discord server for you guys in case you do want to go and hang out with other people from the YouTube channel the discord server is also a place where you can get alerts for when I go live for different live streams and for when I upload new videos to the channel. I also have a bunch of different features coming soon to the discord server so if you want to join I'll leave a link to it in the description below the video in case you do want to join the discord. And let's head on to the next attack strategy. And the second attack strategy I will be showing you is a goho and I do use this as a farming army to get a bit more of the gold and elixir. But it can be a trophy pushing and a war army if you're looking for either of those attack strategies as well. But to start off the raid here, we're going to drop the queen walk over on the right side to take out these two enemy heroes here. Drop in a balloon to take out the air mine, but there wasn't any. So we drop the healers behind the queen. And we also have a couple of wizards we'll put down on the outside buildings here for the funnel. Drop in the king and then we'll drop a couple of hog riders at the top with a couple more wizards to take out those outside buildings. To make the queen go inside the base, dropping a poison on the heroes, taking down both of them. The king, our king goes down as well, but we use the ability to go through there as well. We're going to use a rage spell on the queen with the healers because we have a ton of defenses attacking the queen right now. So uh, healing her up with the raged healers. And we have the queen going over to the uh, inside of the base. We drop the rest of the wall breakers going into the core of the base here, going through the first compartment. And through the second one as well. We drop the rest of the hog riders at the bottom of the base here. Since we create a funnel for the hog riders to go all the way to the left wizard tower there. We have two heal spells left to put down on the base. Taking out the first of three wizard towers left on the base. We have two heal spells left. The queen's ability is still up as well. And we also dropped a couple of 
clean up wizards at the bottom of the base to clear out the outside buildings, drop in a heal spell at the top of the base for that wizard tower in case of the splash damage, taking down most of the hog riders, keeping them healed up to full health. We have one more heal spell left. We'll use it over on the right here on this final wizard tower for the easy three star on this base. A very easy attack here for the three star. We'll speed it up for the final cleanup of the base here. Cogs going into the middle of the base for the two star. Already at 85% getting the two star there. And we have the final buildings at the top of the base here. Final building being over on the left, the builder hut for the easy three star having the queen ability up still and a poison spell don't needed that for the attack here but we get the easy three star and also a ton of blue almost a million of each and almost 6500 dark elixir as well very good attack there let's head on to the next attack strategy and the third attack strategy here is a go wee wee which is golems wizards and witches this is basically a trophy pushing army or a war army i wouldn't really call this a farming army because of how expensive the army is for the Dark Elixir. I think it was around 1700 Dark Elixir for one army of this specific strategy here. So I wouldn't recommend using this for farming if you are trying to go for Dark Elixir. But uh, this raid had a bunch of Dark Elixir, so we made up a bunch of the Dark Elixir from this attack here. But to start off the raid here, we'll drop the Queen Walk at the top of the base for the enemy Queen. Going in to take her out, dropping the balloon. No air sweeper or no air mine taking out the uh, healers, so we drop the rest of the healers there. Dropping the archer at the top for that builder hut. Wall breaking into the base for the queen to go over to the enemy queen. Drop a poison on the queen once she gets a little bit closer to her. And she's getting a bit closer, so we'll drop the poison spell for the enemy queen there, slowing her down. Starting to attack the enemy queen, also getting targeted by a bunch of different defenses, so she'll have to use her ability there. We drop the rest of the army, starting with the golem, then wizards and witches behind. Also dropping the king and the clan castles for the main push into the base, dropping a jump spell to go over to the main compartment with a raid spell. And we'll have another raid spell for the middle of the base here, going over to the right side of the base. King in the middle will drop a poison on him to slow him down and drop in a rage for the rest of the troops inside the core. All those skeletons and king and witches in the core of the base using that rage spell there. We have the queen still up full health with those healers at the top of the base. And we have the yeti with the super wizard at the bottom taking down these outside buildings. And it'll be a nice easy three star. We use everything on the uh, army here. We have the king's ability still up. So we have uh, actually used that now to go through the wall for the three star, take it on the final buildings, final defenses actually. And we have a few more buildings left. We're at 93, 94% getting the three star here with a bunch of loot as well. All these raids, we had a ton of loot to take from these bases. So very good attack there. Let's head on to the next one. And the fourth attack strategy is actually the one single air army that I put in the top five here. It is a Lava Loon. I've used this a bunch and it's very, very good. I'm going to use the uh, Queen Walk here on the right to start off the raid here. Drop in the Balloon and then the Healers. And then we'll wall break in to the compartment here to try to take out the enemy Queen and also taking out a couple of air defenses as well. And we're going to use the King as well, dropping him in to the base. And also drop in the rest of the wall breakers, trying to break into the wall compartment there for the King to take out the enemy Queen. And we have the poison spell for her. We're gonna have to use the king's ability and put down the poison spell for the enemy queen there. King going down to the enemy queen. And we have our queen still up, taking down the storages, and then heading in towards the enemy queen here. We also have the lava loon still ready. We have to wait for the queen to go into the base and take out a couple of air defenses. We'll rage her up to continue through the base as fast as possible here, taking down the enemy queen. And the first air defense, so we'll start the main attack here, going over to the bottom of the base to drop a couple of balloons with a haste spell to take out this compartment at the bottom. Dropping some more balloons on the bottom left with a lava hound, going to that air defense that distracted for the balloons. Drop another haste over on the on the left with the rest of the balloons, and we rage the balloons in the core to take out these expos and mortars. And we have another heal spell with a haste that we'll use at the top of the base here for this final wizard tower. 
clumping up all the balloons there. So we use the heal to heal up those. Air Bomb damages the balloons, but get healed up completely because of that heal spell. Using the haste spell for the final compartment at the top of the base. And basically cleaning up the rest of the base here. A very good attack strategy if you are trying to use it in either war or should be pushing in the lower leagues. I'm not sure how well it will do at the top leagues because you will be going up against Tunnel 10s and 11s which have Inferno Towers and they'll probably melt your balloons. So very good attack strategy here if you are using it in war or even farming if you are farming with attack strategy. We get a ton of loot from this base as well. Let's head on to the final attack strategy. And the final attack strategy here is a Go We Valk attack strategy. It is Golems, Wizards, and Valkyries. We decided to take out the Pekkas and actually replace it with the healers here. And we'll start off the raid at the left side here with the Queen Walk. Going for the enemy queen, taking her out, and hopefully taking out uh, the Clank Castle as well. But I don't think there was any in any of these raids so far. So uh, make sure you continue and be cautious with that because there will eventually be Clank Castle troops if you are using this as a farming army. But I've used this as a pushing army and it's very good uh, to use as a pushing army. But you can also use it in war. I've used that in war as well. Dropping the poison spell on the queen, taking her out with our queen. And we'll try to uh, go over to the right here. She'll go over to the queen altar, taking it down and then going down. We'll drop a raid spell to go through the uh, arch tower pretty quickly and meet up with the rest of the troops at the bottom of the base here. Dropping a golem with the wizards, going, uh, taking out the outside buildings, dropping the wall breaker to break into the compartment there, and then dropping the rest of the troops to go into the core. We'll jump them over to the town hall compartment here, as well as jumping the queen over to the main attack here. Going to raid them through these buildings, and then going over to the town hall compartment. We have the king, but we'll poison him, but we kind of missed the poison for that king there, but we still take him down pretty quickly. We have the Tesla farm over in the top of the base here, and the wizards and yeti will take him out pretty easily here. Queen jumping over the wall to meet up with the rest of the troops. King over on the right side here, taking down the wizard tower. And we have a wizard on the outside, clearing out the outside buildings. Going to have to use the queen's ability to go through the expos here. Since they are doing a bit of damage to the troops here. And we looks like we will be able to get it. another 3 star here. We have the king's ability up still. We will use it there to speed up the attack here. Going through the wall. Air skeletons going to uh, distract the troops. The queen taking out the skeletons for a couple of seconds. Then meet it up back again with the main attack. We'll speed it up just a little bit. Because it will be a nice easy 3 star. Still have the full yeti. Uh, and we have the full golem as well. He's still full health, which is kind of kind of surprising because of uh, the uh, damage it usually gets from the defenses, clearing out the rest of the base for the three star, and getting a ton of loot once again as a farming army. And it looks like that is the final attack strategy of the day here, and also the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video and haven't already, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.